Okay, folks, this is take one of hopefully one. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta wait. Okay, everyone quiet. Quiet on the set. Watch your paper rattling, folks. Around Dodge City and the Territory West, there's just one way to handle the killers and spoilers, and that with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Gun smoke! The story of the violence that moved west with young America. The story of a man who moved with it. Matt Dillon, United States Marshal. Wanted for murder. Wanted for murder. Clay Richards. Clay Richards, age 31. 31, height 6 feet. Eyes brown, hair red. Eyes brown, hair red. Hey, how would you like me to print his picture on these notices? I got a woodcut here, let me show you. Ernie, fetch the marshal a copy of that front page. Interviewing Clay's wife yesterday, I noticed a tin type on the mantle, their wedding picture. So, first thing you know, I snitched it. Very thoughtful. I'll take it, Ernie. And then I propped it up in front of me and carved this here woodcut. Ain't she prime? Ain't she just elegant? Real elegant. A good likeness, don't you think? Of course, he was seven or eight years younger in the tin type. Yeah, it's a good likeness. Hair was shorter. Doesn't show what makes a law-abiding man like him try to rob a bank. Doesn't look like a man who murdered an old cashier and a Chinese cook who just happened to be there. But it's a good likeness. A picture like this sure dresses up the front page now, don't it? Yeah, it's a little masterpiece, Mr. Hightower. A notable contribution to the culture of Dodge City. Well, thank you, Marshal. Does fetch the eye now, don't it? I'm printing an extra 500 copies of the weekly and I bet I sell them all. Too bad the cashier's shot went wild. If he'd managed to kill Clay or even wing him, why, I bet I could have sold a thousand extra copies. We must be thankful for the blessings we do receive, Mr. Hightower. Oh, I am, Marshal, I am. Why, just before it happened yesterday afternoon, I didn't know what I was going to fill my columns with. And then, like manna from heaven, two murders and a bank robbery. Attempted bank robbery, Mr. Hightower. Turned and ran before he got his hands on so much as a dollar. Mr. Dillon! I'm talking business. What is it, Chester? Well, it can wait against Mr. Dillon. Yeah. Print Clay's pictures on those notices, Mr. Hightower. Now, where were we? Um, eyes brown, hair red. Oh, yeah. Also known as Red, Bricktop, and Sorrel. He didn't answer to no other nicknames, did he? No, that's what they called him. All right then, in big letters. $400 reward, dead or alive. And at the bottom, apply Matt Dillon, Marshall, Dodge City. Mm-hmm. For 200 copies. How soon can I send Chester over for him? Oh, this afternoon. Good morning, Mr. Hightower. Chester. Think those posters will do any good? Richards is probably over the line in New Oklahoma or Colorado by now. That strawberry roan of his is the fastest in the county. He has no money. He panicked and ran out of the bank before he got a penny. Mr. Dillon! You're letting in every horse fly in Kansas. Oh, Mr. Dillon, I think you better cancel the order for them notices. What? Well, the Dutchman's coming up the street, and he's leading a strawberry roan, and Clay Richards is draped across the back. Like a sack of wheat across the saddle. Oh, yeah. Last time I saw him was two days ago. He was standing at the bar, laughing his head off. A sack of wheat across the saddle. Is that that's Clay. That's, that's Mr. Clay. Clay. He's, he's and followed by half the saloon rugs and loafers in town. 
All right, Chester, make him keep back. All right, stand back, you fellas. Come on now, back. Stand back. Ziggler, how'd it happen, Ziggler? My goat, my old bee goat. He pushed us off in the tent last night at the bounce away. Forget your goat. What about Clay? I tell you. This morning I go to look for the goat. I walk here, there, and, and near the river I see Cliff. He sits there, I say, hello Cliff, big gates, and, and we know. Dirty Dutchman! Why you no good dog? Clay was your best friend. He helped you buy your farm, and now you done kill them! See if it lift off on. All right, this will be a clean break. Say that line again. Sorry. Chester, see if it lift off on. His holster was coming empty up the street. First thing I noticed. Maybe it's over on the. Hey, another customer. Well, that's three in less than a day. Oh, God, God. That's right, man. Yeah. From the let's, clean break. Yeah, let's have a clean break. Same line. Chester, see if it lift off, Glenn. Okay. Didn't Clay go for his gun before you shot him? I tell you, I, I didn't. If I am not under arrest, you have no right to keep me here. I have to look after my farm. I, I go, I go. All right, Chester. Lock him up. Yes, sir, Mr. Dillon. Come on, Mr. Ziegler. I didn't do it. I, I, I didn't do Step it. Step out, Sonny. This cage is bespoke. Who's in there, Chester? Well, that little old runaway from Cottonwood. Oh. Come over here, son. Come over here to me. I know who you are. You do, do you? You bet. You're Matt Dillon. Huh. Guilty. I know you're right off. You're pointed out to me one day back home. Feller said you were the fastest gun thrower in Kansas. White Earp would be awful interested to hear that, I'm afraid. Feller said you were faster than Old Earp, faster than Wild Bill Hickok, but Masterson or any of them. How many fellers have you killed? When Adam left, he said he'd be coming back with some friends. I know. I stopped at the Long Branch just now to rinse out my mouth. 
Adam was there talking mighty ugly and mighty big, he's got a sizable following. Yeah. What do you think? Any minute now, Mr. Dillon. Want me to take Bub out of here to one of the hotels, maybe? I don't want to see it. No? I think it'll be safer here, Chester, behind stone walls and knocking about the streets rubbernecking. You keep your head down, Sonny, you hear? Be in mourning if she cared for Clay at all anymore. She ought to be in black. Matt! Oh Lord, I find her more beautiful all the time. Matt, have you heard what they're saying? What are they saying, Francie? That you and me, that you made Pete Ziegler kill him because. I'm sorry, that got back to you, Francie. It's all over Dodge. Adam almost strangled me before they dragged him off. Francie, I, I didn't shoot Clay. I, I beg you to believe me. Shut up, Ziegler. Shut up or I'll plug you to death. Francie, it's just one of those crazy stories. They needed one, and they made one up. But Matt, everyone believes it. On my way over here, people were pointing, whispering. Old women were clucking their tongues at me. They believe it. They'll forget it. As soon as this is over, they'll remember that even if we once did go with each other, it was finished and done with even before the war ended, before you even met Clay. No, they won't forget it for the rest of my life, as long as I stay here. Hold it, Francie. Yeah, Doc? What is it? Oh, uh, am I interrupting? What is it, Doc? The autopsy's finished. I examined his liver and, uh... Um... This is Mrs. Richards, Doc. Oh, I beg your pardon, ma'am. I'm sure I meant no disrespect for the departed. Well? Clay was shot all right, but from the nature of the wound and the coagulation of the blood, I'd say it happened sometime yesterday. I'd say the cashier's bullet didn't go wild after all. How could a dead man gallop away? Well, that wound wasn't what killed Clay. Oh. Oh, too much. The <laughs> badge? Yeah. Can you direct me to the marshal? That doesn't have the right oh, sound. Since I got your telegram, I miss the body. Where is my boy? I'm sorry for the old trouble. The truth of the matter is, it's a wild one. No mistakes. That sounds good. Improvising sound effects. Stand me? Okay, we gotta go back. I up. 
It's my this time. Okay. I'm sorry. I guess the funeral's over. There'll be others. Funny. Now I miss that bell. Off quiet, ain't it? It just, uh, Can you guys come in in the middle of my line? Sure. Yeah. Um, off of quiet, ain't it? Okay. When he says off of quiet, ain't it? Okay. Yeah. All right, back from the other spot. <clears throat> yes, sir, Mr. Dillon. I'd use a shotgun if I were you. It's more effective when there's a mob to be dealt with. Oh, yes, sir. I aim to. Sigmund, you too, son. Your problem to start. Lie down flat on the floor and keep your head down all the time. Don't gawk to see what's happening. You understand me? Yes, sir, Mr. Dillon. All right. Dillon! Dillon, come on, Dillon! Chester, I want you to stand here in the doorway after I go out, so you can cover the back door and me at the same time. Well, yes, sir, Mr. Dillon. All right, Chester, open the door. Yeah, get your head down. I know it. It's my duty to warn all of you, but you're in breach of the peace. I'm sworn to rule the law. I've killed men in order to do it, and I'm preparing to do it again. Give us a Dutchman, Dylan. I'll ask you to be sensible and leave quietly. But if you refuse to listen to reason, you insist on being fools. You've already decided to act like wolves instead of humans. And there's nothing I can say to make you change your mind. You want Pete Ziegler? Well, he's not more than 20 feet behind me. So come on and get him, any of you. One at a time or all at once? Come on. Which one of you wants to die first? You? You? You, Adam? Well, what do you say, Adam? You let him here. Don't let this star on my coat stop you. Come on. There. I'm not wearing it now. Come on, Adam. Draw. Draw! Whoa! Get his coat. Oh my God. Man alive. I couldn't even see your hand move. Marshal. Marshal. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Right this way, man. I'm sorry he put you to all that trouble, Marshal. The truth of the matter is, he's a wild one. And no mistakes takes after his father. One scrape after another. He was no trouble at all. Right there on the desk. Ah, there we are. It'll be safe for you to go home now. I... Uh, I can go back to the farm? Yeah, that's right. I'll send for you for the trial. Thank oh, you, thank you, excuse me. <laughs> Gunsmoke, under the direction of Clay Nielsen, starring Clay Nielsen as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. Tonight's story was specially written for Gunsmoke by Walter Newman. Featured in tonight's cast were Clay Nielsen, Mark Pendleton, Jordan Nowitzki, David Jones. I'm sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you can record that afterward. Yeah. <laughs>